Your starting goaltenders for this afternoon's matchup here between the Buttes and the Whale in net for the Buffalo Buttes will be Kimberly Sass, the East Amherst native from Colgate, 5'5". Five five. She was born in 1990. And at the other end, it will be Jamie Leonoff from Montreal, Quebec. They line up for the opening faceoff, and we're underway with the Whale winning the opening draw. Balzer to center. That was knocked down there by Doherty, but taken back by Harrington. Harrington, she goes down, taken back here, and away come the Whale once again. There's a shot right on, and that's going to be smothered there by Sass off the shot from Danielle Ward. Buser after it along the far side boards. Coming into support there was Long. Back at the point once again. Over now. There's a shot there, and that's kicked away off the pad of Sass who I do have to say has a little bit of a crowd over along the far side boards down in the Buttes end. Greg to the face off circle, back for Williams, now over, Falzer gets it. Falzer looking for room, Konichka over, there's a shot, winds up and a great glove save there by Jamie Lanoff off the shot by Lindsey Grigg. Falzer has Greg open on her right. Balzer gets it over for Duggan. Back for Grigg again. Grigg throws with towards the front of the oh. rebound. Oh, it's off the side of the net. They fight for it, and the puck goes into the corner. Duggan calls off for Allen, throwing it towards the front, and now the puck is whistled down, and I believe the net has come off its moorings. Doyle fighting for it. Buser trying to clear it out. They still fight for it along the far side boards. One second, and that's going to do it for the opening period of play here from the first Niagara rink at Harbor Center, and it is a 0-0 tight score after one period. Welcome back to First Niagara Rink at the Harbor Center right here in beautiful Buffalo, New York. This is a beautiful facility, isn't it, Joe? It's beautiful. Windows all over the place. Lots some natural light, and you can see over on the right. A lot of great um, food venues. Brand new facility. Everything about it's brand new. Everything about it is just really great. And it's really a great facility to host the women's professional hockey team here. Balzer at the point, keeps it alive. However, the puck is going to be taken away by the Whale, and now here's a chance for a two-on-one shorthanded. In over the line, there's a shot right on that. Stop there by Sass off the shot of Kaylee Fretkin. And that is not what the Buttes wanted to do right off the bat here. Puck thrown ahead, taken back here by Haley Williams. She loses control, and it's going to be just dumped back in off the stick of Michaela Long. And with about five seconds left, it's stolen away here. Here's Kelly Babstock. Stock with a shot, and she scores. That's going to be a shorthanded goal against Kelly Babstock with the shot. It's off the blocker of Kimberly Sass, and she did not get all of it. And just a minute 40 into this opening period, the Connecticut Whale take a 1-0 lead. Konichka on the draw with Stack. Stack wins it. And now the puck out in front. Here's Falzer, a shot right now. That one was blocked in front. Another chance, and it's loose, and it goes out. And it's cleared out of the front of the net by the Whale, and now Falzer gets it back again, but Stack comes away with a chance. Here's Stack, still with it. Stack shoots right on. Great save there by Sass, and Sass is going to dive out and cover it up, but a great chance for the Buttes as the puck was laying in the crease, but a nice defensive play by the Whale to clear it out. Koizumi controls it. The captain of the Whale gets it now for Kelly Stack. Stack winds up a shot, and she scores! What a bullet there from Kelly Stack! Add that on to her total. That's her second goal of the year, her sixth point on the season. And the Whale have taken a 2 to nothing lead. Now coming away with the puck here is Doherty. Doherty in over the line. Gets it for Ward. The pass didn't connect. Harrington will get it ahead for Bram, but Ward comes up with the puck once again. Now in behind, Wolfheiler out in front. Ward a shot right on. And it ends up in the lap there of Kimberly Sass, and she will hang on to that one. Kunichka trying to clear the zone. She gets knocked down, still fighting for it. Now Harrington, she can't come up with it. Here's Koizumi with less than 10 seconds left. The turnaround shot was blocked. And now McDonald, it's tied up in the corner. Koizumi loses her stick, and Falzer's just going to tie it up there, and that will do it for the second period with the score 2-0 in favor of the Whale. And away we go with the third period here. The puck has already dropped, and we are underway with the Buttes controlling the pace of play in the Whale end to begin this third period. The puck goes towards the side of the net and that's knocked away there but the puck's kept alive at the point by Falzer. Falzer trying to throw it in for that was Skeets and now the puck goes all the way back in on Kimberly Sass and she will just cover it up. We're 25 seconds in and with the whale up 2-0. For the Buttes that last period leading the way with shots was Shelby Bram with three. 
Megan Bozak and Megan Duggan both have two. And the puck is loose in front of the net. And the puck is cleared out. Now back at the point. Doyle shot was blocked there. Here's Buser. Now over for Dark Angelo. Back for Doyle again. Graham trying to clear the zone. Can't do it. Stack keeps it in. She's taken off the play. And now taken back. And away comes Shelby Bram once again. Bram trying to get around Doyle. Out in front of Chance. Score! That's the way to get back into it. Beautiful feed in front of the net. Devin Skeets finishes. She gets her first goal of the season. And it's a one goal game. We're not even a minute in. Now it's already tied up there. And the puck comes free. Here's a chance for Williams. Score! <laughs> Haley Williams with the shot. I don't know if it hit anybody going towards the net. But it definitely deflected on its way, and it's a tied game with 15.44 to go. It might have been deflected off the stick of Courtney Kunichka. Falzer still with it. Here's Falzer. Looking for room. Falzer throws it on net. That's not the rebound in front. Oh, and another one. Not go in. They still whack away at it. It's loose. It comes out. Here's Falzer. A chance of shot. Oh, and another great save. Falzer for Bozak. Bozak into the corner for Duggan. Back for Bozak for Falzer again. Falzer winds up, doesn't shoot. Now Bram out in front. Great save the rebound. Oh, what a great glove save there by Lanoff. On off the stick of Megan Duggan. And the whale catch a break. It's kept alive by Tommy Moto. Trying it out in front. Here's Darkangelo a chance. Great save by Sass. The rebound is corralled there. Oh, and it's blocked in front of the net by Kanichka. Back at the point it goes. Tommy Moto a shot. That one was blocked great there by block. Brown. With a minute five to go. Here in the third period, still tied two to two. Puck played ahead, Ward will chase after it, and behind the net. Here's Ward, throwing it out in front, oh. and it's in the net! Oh my goodness! Danielle Ward trying throwing it out in front, it must have gone off of Buffalo Buttes defender, and in the back of the net, and with 55.8 seconds left, the Whale have a three to two lead. Oh, what a tough break for Buffalo. Duggan off the draw, trying to throw that one towards the net. She controls it. Back to the point it goes for Bozak. Bozak tries to backhand it ahead. Dark Angel will get it. She throws to the empty net. It's wide, but that's going to do it. And actually, they, bl they blow the whistle down. And the Buttes are trying to say that that was an icing. However, time expires. We're waiting to see what happens. The Whale are all off the bench congratulating laying off the goaltender. And Megan Duggan's over there talking with the officials. We're going to see what's happening here. I mean, I mean, there would be very, I mean, there wouldn't be much time left, but it seems like the game is over.